Sometimes dealing with anomalies that could destroy the world with a flick of their wrist can get a little old. Sure, it definitely wouldn't be a good thing if the Devourer of Worlds, well, devoured the world, or if SCP-001 when day breaks turns us all into weird melty zombies, but it's almost impossible to conceive the sheer scale of destruction that an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario would cause. You'd almost be numb to it, if you even survived. In the words of SCP-2430 creator Joseph Stalin, the death of one man is a tragedy, the death of millions is a statistic. Okay, he didn't actually say that, but it's an appropriate quote either way. Today we're talking about a much smaller, pettier kind of evil. Sure, this anomaly can kill people, and has many, many times, in fact. But where it really gets its kicks is in making you feel like crap on a more emotional level. It's SCP-056, ironically known by the nickname, A Beautiful Person. Because on the inside, this self-obsessed monster is anything but beautiful. This crafty creature spent what potentially could have been hundreds of years around humans before the SCP Foundation eventually located it and apprehended it, meaning you may have even run into it at some point or another before it was rightfully imprisoned. How do you know if you had a brush with SCP-056? Well, it's difficult to know for sure, but perhaps the biggest indicator is that it probably annoyed the living hell out of you. You see, SCP-056 is a sentient shapeshifter with a subtle mind-warping ability, whose entire reason for existence is using those abilities to make everyone around them feel incredibly inadequate. They don't have any kind of consistent or true form, only a consistent ethos, and that ethos is anything you can do. I can do better. And we mean this in the most literal sense. Whenever SCP-056 is left with a person, an animal, or even an object, the second all eyes are taken off of it, it'll become a slightly better version of whatever it's encountering. If that thing in question is capable of thinking or feeling, it will not feel good about this development. Just like we said, it's probably not going to bring the world to its knees, but it sure would suck to know SCP-056. Its lack of a consistent form makes SCP-056 a little difficult to think about visually, which was also the reason it was so hard to catch. But for the sake of consistency, we'll present it here with one of its favorite forms, a woman who's a real dead ringer for perfection, famous actress Scarlett Johansson of Black Widow fame. Personally, I liked her as the computer in her, but that's besides the point. So what is it really like to experience SCP-056's anomalous effects firsthand? Well, we'll take you through a little crash course in anomalous insecurity and frustration. Let's say that this creature, in human form, is one of your co-workers. When the Foundation discovered it, it was working in the fashion industry. But who knows what job it could have held before then. If it worked in your office, it was probably that one irritating co-worker who always wore nicer clothes than you, had a brighter, wider smile, and much better hair. While you were thanklessly toiling away on the reports for the latest financial quarter, 056 was schmoozing with your boss on golf lunches, scoring perfect games and promotions one hole-in-one at a time. Of course, they'll tell you about it at the water cooler. Like everyone else who's feeling inadequate, maybe you buy yourself a new car. A vintage Cadillac convertible that makes you feel more like a gangster than an office drone. Awesome. That'll make all those feelings that you're not good enough go away. You even buy yourself a stylish pair of sunglasses and start cruising around town with the top down, hoping that everyone sees how cool you are now. But when you are stopped at a red light, you see someone approaching in the lane next to you. It's the latest Rolls-Royce Phantom in jet black. And who would be behind the wheel but SCP-056 in Armani shades that are much nicer than yours. It grins and nods to you in the mirrors, and you can feel your soul shriveling up inside you, only to be replaced by rage and resentment. Maybe later that month, you and all your co-workers are at a bar, enjoying drinks. Of course, SCP-056 is the best dressed one there, and is telling all the most interesting stories. Your jokes don't get at any laughs, but 056 is bringing down the house with every word. Feeling ignored, you decide to get everyone around on you. 056 is a designated driver in its new Rolls Royce, so you just decide to get them a Pepsi instead. However, by the time you return to their stool, they're nowhere to be seen. A tall glass of Coca-Cola with ice cubes is sitting on the bar next to their seat. Perhaps one day you finally snap and decide you can't take it anymore. You'll meet SCP-056 after work and put the showboating jerk in its place at long last. 
You sneak up on it in an alley with a knife in your palm and swing for it, but your blade never makes contact. SCP-056 unleashes some high-level jujitsu move on you, easily knocks the knife from your hands and beats the living hell out of you. When you're later convicted of attempted murder, all you can do is scream, they made me do it, again and again, in your prison cell. Envy can do crazy things to a person. But wait, there's more. Really, if you lose your mind from an encounter with SCP-056, you still haven't done too badly. While its methods of attack are more commonly psychological, as we alluded to earlier, SCP-056 is definitely not above committing some pretty horrifying acts of violence. SCP-056 was discovered in its clothing design job after causing an unusually high number of murders, suicides, and mental breakdowns among its co-workers. However, things took an even more unpleasant turn when the Foundation sent personnel to detain it. SCP-056 reacted poorly to the show of potential force and turned into something even more dangerous than the Foundation planned for it in getting under control. We don't know exactly what it transformed into due to SCP Foundation redactions, but our guesses for what it transformed into would either be a giant monster, a Rambo-esque unstoppable super soldier, or something like one of those huge killer robots from Robocop. Pick your favorite down there in the comments. But whatever the case, it caused the unfortunate deaths of 17 agents and 10 civilians. The incident was blamed on an employee at the company going postal and deciding to kill a bunch of innocents, which technically wasn't untrue? Hmm. Not long after, Foundation operatives were able to tranquilize SCP-056. Perhaps you think this nasty little monster decided to mellow out a bit after being contained, but if you did think that, I'm afraid you'd be dead wrong. It just decided to start terrorizing Foundation staff with its infuriating anomalous abilities instead. Wait until you see this. Compared to a lot of entities locked up at the SCP Foundation, SCP-056 really lives in the lap of luxury. It has a well-furnished room, easy access to members of staff, and is given permission to interact with any object it desires as long as those objects aren't anomalous. Why is this Euclid-class anomaly with over 17 dead Foundation staff members to its name given so much leeway? Well, to answer that, remember the ethos, anything you can do, I can do better. And this holds true, whether we're talking about physical appearance or one's capacity to commit tremendous acts of violence. The Foundation is forced to cater to most of SCP-056's whims, or it will become a hell of a lot more dangerous in response to any kind of external resistance. See? We told you it'd suck to have known this thing. And nobody knows that better than the employees of the SCP Foundation who are forced to interact with it on a daily basis for containment and testing. First, let's take a look at some of the forms it's occupied since it began its time at the SCP Foundation. When a researcher brought in their beloved pooch, SCP-056 decided to flex on it by becoming a beautiful, well-groomed Labrador Retriever. When a younger female staff passed it, it decided to once again take on its Scarlett Johansson form. When speaking to a group of other researchers about intelligence, it became a female researcher with an IQ score 30 points higher than the top-scoring human researcher on site. When it took a trip to the containment site's gym, where the guards and mobile task forces exercise and train, it decided to take its flexes to a more literal level. It transformed into a ripped, hunky bodybuilder, who strutted into the middle of the gym and bench pressed 250 kilos no problem. This was 30 kilos more than the strongest human guard working at the site. Its commitment to being the best is so great that when left alone in its containment chamber, it will sometimes literally transform into a nicer couch than the one the Foundation provided for it. Doesn't it just make your blood boil? But wait, there's more. Just in case this wasn't absurd enough, the Foundation felt like testing the limits of its anomalous abilities. In particular, they were extremely eager to see if 056 had a secret default form. They left it alone with a single security camera, in order to observe what it transformed into when not being observed. And can you guess what happened? It turned into an even higher quality security camera and stared back. While the transformations can only take place while 056 isn't being observed, it's very astute at creating periods where it can't be seen or interacted with. Vision or camera feeds have been known to briefly go foggy in order to facilitate a transformation. It's fitting that 056, being the ultimate diva, will only ever let people look at it on its own terms. It also seems to get off on causing shame, and the degree to which that statement is metaphorical is, well, open to interpretation. 
Staff members made insecure by its antics feel compelled to enter its cell and verbally berate it, at which point 056 will shame them even harder and send them out with their tail between their legs. It's like every toxic friend rolled into one nasty package. Curious as to what else SCP-056 was capable of, the Foundation conducted a few other tests between SCP-056 and their personnel. Here, they discovered that 056 seemed incredibly responsive to intent. When a D-Class was sent in with a knife and the intent to kill, 056 transformed into a lean, athletic man before disarming and killing the D-Class. A somewhat attractive D-Class female was sent in with a bottle of wine. 056 became a beautiful woman and accepted the wine, before taking a sip and spitting it back into the D-Class's face. A mixed-gender pair of D-Classes were sent in next with no real intent. 056 became an attractive woman in a well-tailored business suit, who looked over the pair before kicking them both out. Ten male D-Classes were sent in after that. 056 turned into a beautiful woman in a low-cut dress and simply waited until the ten men were driven mad with desire and began physically fighting one another for her affection. She watched them doing this for seven minutes before laughing and leaving the simp squadron to duke it out alone. In another test, a female staff member with level 4 clearance, who was also judged to be the most attractive woman on site, which seems like an HR issue that the ethics committee should probably look into, was sent into 056's testing chamber. 056 became, quote, an extremely aesthetically pleasing woman, who displayed a large lexicon and understanding of management skills, unquote. The two spoke for around 90 minutes until the level 4 staff member stormed out in a rage. Recently, 056 has requested access to the internet, saying that the Foundation has been unable to provide it with enough syncopants, and that via the internet the whole world will be able to see its face. If ever 056 got onto YouTube and transformed into a more successful SCP channel, I just don't think we'd be able to take it. Thankfully, this request was denied. Now go check out SCP Minecraft World Destroyer SCP-4335 A Welt in the Crucible, and SCP-2430 Immortal Hitler Clone for more anomalies you really just want to punch in the face.